Hey everyone, it's Sean Lou from the Stash Bin, and I don't know if everyone's actually seen my face. If you've watched some of my videos, you've probably seen my face, but there's one thing I didn't want to establish is that I didn't want to make like 25 videos, and at the 26th video you see my face, and everyone's just like, oh my gosh, that's what he looks like? You know what I mean? I didn't want to establish that right away, so I kind of want to show my face right away from the beginning, that when you see my face, you don't feel so shocked, or feel like you've been robbed some way. I don't know, the internet's mean, but anyways... Uh, recently, like, uh, I think it was like three, four days ago, um, I, did, I filmed the, uh, the Spider-Man series 12 Sandman. And unfortunately, what I like to do all the time is I like to film everything in one shot, and that way I don't have to edit it. But I ended up edit it, editing it because I did in-package and then I took it out of the case. And then when I edited it, the, the, the quality ended up getting really fuzzy, and then I upload on YouTube and look really poor. So, I'm going to try doing this review all in one shot. So, I am today I'm going to review the Spider-Man Series 1 Daredevil. Considered to be the definitive Daredevil to have. Um, I find that fairly surprising, because I've had this for a rigor, uh, figure for a while in my closet. Oh, actually in the stash bin, in packaging for the longest time, and the only reason I never took it out of packaging is because I always thought that the Face Off series Daredevil was the definitive Daredevil to have. So, um, it is a comparison video, actually. So, as you can see, I already took it out, and it turned out there were no twisty ties, so there was no need to actually rip it, so I'm kind of sad about that. Anyways, took it out. See that, that, new, that new toy smell. It's very strong. Okay, so, oh yeah, I thought for it, I'll put it back. Then that didn't happen. Oops. Um, Spider-Man Series 1. Now, as mentioned before, there's no actual numbering on these packaging. So, to find out what series these come from, you're going to have to look on the internet to uh, really distinguish what comes from what series. Okay? So, it says here, Spider-Man Daredevil with swing and spin action. And it says it in France. Uh, French? Sorry. Um, ages. So yeah, ages 4 and up. Well, we're far past that, so. Yeah, on the back, um, I actually don't need this right now. Let's see, there's a Craven figure, which looks really cool. I do have that figure, I probably will do a review soon. Daredevil, which is the one that I have right now. Uh, here's the one that's really interesting um, Rocket Launching Spider Man. Okay, uh, hmm. and this one is a uh, Parachute Spider Man coming from a giant Pokeball. I think I'll pass. So, like I said, it comes half and half with like gimmick figures and actual good figures that I find that are more aimed towards adult collectors so without further ado um, actually I don't even have to change it I can just go like this let's get them out of packaging um, yeah so right now it's a bit stiff uh, I definitely had this in yeah so one thing I'm really concerned about actually breaking it in front of the camera so okay there we go Okay, so no worries about breaking it. Okay, okay, so let's do quickly. I uh, do a little close up on this face. Side, so it focused. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. Oh, that looks sweet. Let's get a little closer up. Oh yeah, if you see, look closely. His eyes are more red. You know what I mean? So it's like a dry brush on this head sculpt. Hmm. So he's definitely a more older looking Daredevil. You know, looks pretty cool. Masters of Dry Brush, in my opinion, were always and always will be Toy Biz. Okay, so um, now he's supporting what looks to be like the the Iceman X Men Classics Iceman body. Looks like it, cause I know it's because he has a shoulder thing that's tilted forward. Okay, okay, so um, he has an armpit joint. Oh, well, actually, it's from top. Head goes up and down, side to side. Uh, shoulder, ball joint and shoulder, armpit joint, eh. So about the bicep, two points at the elbow, one at the wrist, here, and the forearm. Uh, stomach articulation, and it's like the exact same on the other side too. Stomach articulation, really stiff. Waist joint, this here, ball joint hips, two points at the knee. Calf joint, uh, swivel at the ankle, and a toe joint, and up and down. So, pretty good articulation, and he's also supporting the Deadpool uh, little sheath thing for his uh, size. Okay, so, and oh, let's look, check out that D on the chest. I need to like this more. Yeah, looks pretty good. Now, right away, I've been told that this is the definitive Daredevil. 
Um, I've always kind of liked the face-off series Daredevil. I do like how this one looks. I've always liked the coloring on this one. This is more of the classic. Like, I, I can't remember what Daredevil or Spider-Man comic was, but there was a comic where Daredevil was looking down like this. And this actually really looks like the Daredevil I've seen in the comic. But I, right, away, right away, I've noticed something about this Daredevil in comparison, to, say, to the face-off series. Um, is that I think it's a little bit smaller. I'm not too sure. But anyways, he does come with this base. Uh, let's put the base comes like this. I think if you collect the entire series, you get like, you can see it looks, it's just cut off. So I think you piece it together with another one. And then this also came with it. It looks like a flag. Like, yeah, let's go scare. Let's just pull him. Yeah. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I can do without this though. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, here's a figure again. Do some size comparison times. Oh, it's kind of all over the place. Here is the face-off series. Of. This is actually my favorite Daredevil. Um, as you can see, there's a bit of a size difference right away. I mean, look at that. This Daredevil is a lot smaller. Um, let me get his head's down. Yeah, you can see it right here, actually. They're standing next to each other. If you look at the line back here, you can actually see the difference. If you use that as a reference, it's almost like, yeah, he's like up to his forehead. Let's see. Okay, actually, let's see back to back. Okay, I'm actually using my desk. Okay, there we go. No, it can't be that short. Okay, there's definitely a size difference. As you can see, this guy's a lot more ripped and bulkier, whereas this guy's a little more smaller. I think if you had a Hasbro Electra. From the Ronin 2 pack, I think that this one would suit the size because if you look over here, here's Electra right now. She is a lot taller than this guy. It's a lot smaller, you know. It's like, it's like Daredevil. Actually, yeah, you know what? I think they're actually the same size. Yeah, they're actually the same height, roughly the same height. Yeah, they're roughly the same height, just about the same height. Whereas this Electra and this thing is like clear. There's a size difference. Kind of like, kind of like can go. Yeah, it's a bit of a size difference. Or this one's kind of like this. Okay. Yeah, let's look at the more comparisons. Look at that boot difference. There you go. Yeah, there's a bit of a size difference between the two. I like the paint detail of the darker look on this one. This one's a lot more brighter. Um, yeah, it's half and half. And as you can see, his boots, they're like... They're not actual like boots. They're kind of like look like it's a giant costume, like a bodysuit. Where this one actually has separate boots. And gloves. The articulation on this one is, a, I think the articulation is the same pretty much. Um, I just know that this one does have a articulated fingers, and this one has more of a like a ankle pivot than more than this one. Um, yeah, let's uh, more comparison sizes. Okay, he looks pretty good with next to this guy right here, next to Kingpin, as you can see here. Looks really good. It, it works here. It doesn't necessarily work with this though. There's bullseye. And uh, you can see that Bullseye is just a little bit taller than the guy. Yeah, he's actually a little bit taller, just a little bit. Oh my, is that right? Oh shoot, he actually is taller a bit. And the boot size is like different too, as you can see. This guy's a lot smaller. Um, uh, I, I'm not too sure which one I actually like more. I like the coloring and detailing on this. I just wish that this one was a little bit bigger. Like ratio size, maybe as big as this one. Then we actually, I would actually like this one even more. And I like that face. He's like more, more angrier look. He's more darker looking. No. Or this one's like, I don't know. It goes half and half. So that's pretty much it. That concludes my review on the Spider-Man series one Daredevil. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, peace.